So you guys know that I've made my fair share of reviews on location changer softwares, and I've covered so many of them in the last few months. But if you guys remember, I actually checked out one of my favorite changer softwares, iAnyGo, a while ago, and I figured why not showcase their software just to show you guys, especially the ones that are new to the channel, how great the software really is and how easy it is to use. But if you guys do enjoy, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, go check out iAnyGo using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. Yeah let's just get right into it okay guys so i am on ianego's website right now and i just wanted to highlight some of the main features that they actually have for the software itself so starting off we can see free trial for windows 11 10 8.1 8 7 etc i'm using windows 11 so this currently actually does work on my pc so it'll work on yours now mac it also supports mac 10.1 or later so keep that in mind if you are thinking about getting the software. Now coming down here, highlight some features, shows kind of like a checklist, if you will. Set up fake location, iPhone, iPad, simulate two point route and multi point route movement, just tongue twister. Simulate the speed of walking, cycling or driving speed, pause movement at any time and historical records to save your favorite places to actually refer to in the future for future use. Now it kind of shows the software itself, shows some more advanced features, and it kind of just shows a step-by-step -step guide like this, as well as some comments and some FAQs. But that's enough for the website. So you guys are probably wondering how well does the software actually work? I'm going to actually show you, but first let me quickly show you how you can connect your device to your computer for this. Now what I actually have is I have a USB type C to lightning cable plugged into the back of my computer. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it just like this, plug it in like that and we are actually going to be good to go. So let me actually boot up iAnyGo. I'll see you guys in there. So basically inside the software itself, we have four main tabs right here. We have the change location, the single spot movement, the multi spot movement, and the joystick movement. Now, if we come up here to change location, we're going to enter. Once our device is connected, it's going to show up on this menu. So we're going to click it. We're going to go to next, and it's going to kind of walk us through how we can actually, you know, enable developer mode. So for this, we need developer mode enabled. We're going to go to privacy and security on our device and we actually need to go to our developer mode turn that tab on i don't know if you guys can see and it's actually going to make us restart our phone so our phone's going to be restarting so just give me a second here and it's actually going to reconnect to the software so i'll see you guys once it's actually done that so our phone actually just booted up again so we're going to select it go to next and if you are running ios 17 or later it's going to need to install the apple driver on the actual computer itself to support it and you guys are in luck because this is actually one of the few softwares that supports iOS 17. A lot of them actually are out of date, trust me. From personal experience, I know that. But you're just gonna let it do its thing, let it load up, and it normally takes like 30 to 45 seconds for it to actually do this. You might need to unplug and plug your phone back in again if the driver installation runs into an error. But okay, like we can see, I actually have my location set to Florida because I guess I forgot to change it back last time I did a video with a location changer. But let's say I wanna change my address to, let's say, somewhere in Vancouver. So I'm gonna just press start to modify. So this is basically my hometown, not my exact location as of right now but this is kind of us set to vancouver now i normally show you guys with snap maps just to make it easy uh to see so let me just zoom in so you guys can see in terms of looking at the map on my pc you can see that this is pretty accurate on you know snap maps right here so we can see the location changer is working as of right now so if you guys want to go somewhere specifically so if you guys want to go somewhere specifically you can go to google here so if you guys want to go somewhere specifically just go to google here look up disney world address and you can click on this now we can see right here it says magic kingdom 1187 seats drive florida blah 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 blah. go here we're going to copy it and we're going to go into our location changer and if we search this up we can see the address actually popped up so if we do this we can go start to modify this will actually like teleport us to disney world wherever we want to go and we can see that our snap maps is actually updated to that new location so that is how you do the kind of the teleport change location now if we were to do the multi spot or single spot movement i'm going to show you single spot first we can actually pick a second destination of the map so if we have it here we want to go let's say this little intersection right here we can adjust the speed as well as change it from looping round trip you know change the amount of times that we want it to do it 
and I'm gonna set the speed right now to walking. So if we do start to move, it's gonna say the distance in kilometers, so 1.05 kilometers. It'll have an ETA on how long it thinks it'll take us to walk that, so 17 minutes. And if we zoom in, we can see that it's slowly moving. That can also be reflected on snap maps. But let me just quickly show you it with it as driving speed. So it says it's gonna take 30 seconds. If we do actually look at snap maps on my phone, we can see it's currently moving along with the software. So we can see it's changing our location, which is super cool. And we have 20 seconds left on the trip. I'm actually just gonna pause it and stop it just like that. Now, if we do multi-spot movement, let's say we want the same thing as the intersection here, then we wanna cut back over here, let's say, over here and then over here. Now, if we have the driving speed, we can also set it and it will actually follow through on the route that we actually just set. Like you guys can see, super cool. I'm also gonna pause it. But yeah, those are the three first features i'm going to stop this if we go to joystick same exact concept we can adjust the movement speed i'm going to keep it at car but we can see that the joystick will actually move it in whatever direction we want to so i have full you know i can also use my wasd to move it around so i'm using my keyboard right now and it's super cool that i'm able to kind of control it like i'm playing a video game but with my location pretend i'm like driving on the road here just like this super funny but that is actually how you do that so yeah if you guys did enjoy you want to go check out inego make sure to check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment this is by far one of the best softwares for location changing and it's super accessible for literally like any device that you want to use just go check it out massive shout out to the people over at tenorshare for actually making this video possible like comment subscribe so close to 100,000 subscribers everything you guys need will be down below in the description i'll see you guys later peace out